Comes in seven and a half boards. Larry flying in. Abdur Rahim with the trailer block. Edder out and running against Smith. The drive. The floater good and the foul. Edder. Your players as well to come back. But in Mike White's case, he had to convince Oquindo to stay. Oh, look at Roberts. How did that come out of there? Up to a Raheem off the back iron. And another offensive board. Still can't find the way that, well, they are dominated the offensive glass. No question. And Coach Lang's getting substitutions right now because there isn't a single post player for St. Joseph's that is boxing out. Long look from three, and this one finally does go down. Holtz rejected by Lindsay. Into the corner, Abdul Rahim and a big splash. Two in a row for Rahim from long range. Right now is a big difference. St. Joseph's can't get any good looks at a three because of how good George's defense is, and they are not converting easy bunnies around the rim. They'll swing around to Hill. Very fundamentally sound defensive play. Roberts kicking it outside. Abdul Rahim, another one. Roberts got off to a quick start, but they've got a timid check here the last six or seven minutes. Corner three is good from Jabri Abdul Rahim. Finish with two defenders on him under the basket. An 8 2 FAMU run. Here's McBride, Abdul Rahim. He's got sweet stroke. Swisheroo. By the way, keep an eye on Chapman and Eagle getting just a little physical. They double bridges quickly. Somebody's open. It's Abdul Rahim for three. Inside out basketball to perfection. And I had a play like Bridges drawing a lot of attention. Going to get an open look. So the dogs are cashing in. Abdul Rahim with the threes. Speak it up. The distance and the dunk. Great, great job by Abdul Rahim. You see the energy. Very big matchup, and they missed that there. Three to shoot, got to hurry. Hill from way downtown won't go. It's Holt again. Abdul Rahim with the drive. The floater good, the foul. Oh, second chance points. Third time the charm on that. It's a long Georgia drought. He is a lot of good things out of this game. Abdul Rahim to McBride. With Bridges and Lindsey, they really Got it started for Georgia. Dora Rahim with a chance for a four-point play. In his third three. And no doubt about that one. Dora Rahim with a chance for the rare four-point play. And he missed the free throw. Oh, what? Oh, and the Bulldogs defeat the Rattlers by a final score of 68 to 46. A lot of good things that FAMU could build on. No doubt about it. And for Georgia, Bridges guarding him tight and tough. James in trouble in the lane, a turnover. Dogs with numbers back the other way. Holt, Hill, McBride, Abdur Rahim for his third three all oh, net. Excellent stroke there, but an even better volley pass. Back at three, and the lead is 15. Ingram, good touch pass of Dua Rahim for his 4-3, and the dogs are smoking. Clock for the dogs. They're going to make sure they get a great, great shot here. Roberts, floater on the baseline. No good. Anselm with a second offensive board of Dua Rahim. No good. Anselm with a third offensive board of Dua Rahim. Yes! There it is. In four. We'll take the inbounds and heave it from midcourt. And that's the ball game. Terrific comeback by Ryder. Georgia prevails. And this is just the fourth Georgia team ever to head into SEC play with 10 non-conference wins. So the Dogs 10 and 3, Ryder 5 and 6. I think for the Bronx, I know they'll be disappointed they couldn't pull off the upset tonight, but a lot of confidence. Establish yourself in the post, you got a better chance. Wow, Dogs bury another. McBride. Time to tip off some Wednesday night SEC basketball. We come your way from not.
Jacksonville, Tennessee, where the fourth ranked volunteers look to stretch out their two game winning streak against the Georgia Bulldogs. The Columbus lost 2 0 after a great start in conference play. But 3 and 3 overall. One of the reasons Georgia has turned this round is just because of this guy, Terry Roberts. Yeah, Terry Roberts, Dave, has become the leader, the transfer from Bradley of this squad. Surprisingly, maybe not. He averages nearly 20 points a game in SEC play. He's tough. He's physical with the basketball and will have to be tonight. And if we think about Tennessee, Sakai Ziegler has been fantastic in the last two ball games. In the starting position, nearly 18 points, seven assists, two and a half steals in the game, and nearly 39 minutes per game. Rick Barnes has given him the leadership out front. He's done it offensively, and we know what he does on the defensive end. And with some illness surrounding the Tennessee team, Max and Edder checking into the game. He has not played in a while for Georgia. And getting an early run here in the first half. It's Mike White trying to find a combination here that will hold on to the, to the basketball. Edder, tough kid, hasn't played in the last seven. Played a lot of games last season. Outside shooter, face up shooter, good defender. Shooter. Oh, Abdul Rahim was feeling it on Saturday in Athens when he hit a career high five threes. He led Georgia with 21, and he stays hot. He hits his first three tonight. Three point game. Abdul Rahim again. He said against Bandy, absolutely stroked it from outside five threes. He Here's Roberts. Nice pass. Editor, quarter three. Won't go. Roberts, another rebound. Boy, a catch and release, oh. man. I tell you what, he is on fire. Abdul Rahim with a second three. 